after watching that movie, seeing all these deserts, whatever, and how hot it is, water is a good answer to everything, in my opinion. Hell or high water. Another indie movie that I, I like reviewing indie movies lately. I've been going looking for a lot more because lately, su this summer's coming to a complete end. It's starting to come September. It's starting to come a little bit fall. Last night, actually, it got a little cold. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to go for an indie movie. And I went and saw Hell or High Water. I heard some good things. And I walked out saying, one of the best films of the year. Hell or High Water is a great movie. And it completely reminds me of No Country for Old Men, in my opinion. But... Man, man, me and my dad, we just, we went to this movie thinking it's going to be good, it might be a little boring. We walked out saying this is, this is great, that was awesome. And he, he even said it, he said like, this is like No Country for All Men, I'm like, exactly. So Hell of High Water stars Chris Pine and Ben Foster, Jeff Bridges, and a bunch of other people. And basically Ben Foster and um, Chris Pine, they're brothers in this movie, and they're bank robbers. And they have to do this for the farm, whatever, and they do it, they save up money for this farm, they're trying to keep off land, because they're about to get kicked out, eviction notice, whatever, the bank's telling them to leave, and they're like, you know what, we're going to get money. And you know what they do? They rob banks. And so Jeff Bridges is going to come after them, figure them out, track them down, and this leads into a big, epic finale with explosions and guns. And my gosh, it might just sound like an action movie to y'all, but really, it's a drama crime movie, and it's, it's really good. Let's start with the pauses. First off, the directing... I had never heard of this director, but I know it's from the writer of Sicario, which was a really good movie last year. But the directing was really good. The writing was really good. The acting, Chris Pine, man. Besides Captain Kirk, this is his best role ever I've ever seen him. He was great in this. Ben Foster, dude, such an underrated actor. He was great in this movie. He was awesome. Those two relationship, they felt like brothers in this movie. They felt like brothers. Jeff Bridges, Jeff Bridges, the dude, he's always great. He was great in this. He was a great as the sheriff guy. He, I love I love when tracking, like, like movies like No Country for All Men, when they're tracking, like, people, like, whatever. I love these kind of movies. And this movie did it very well and very smart, like No Country for All Men. I thought this writing was just really good. And I just felt like the characters were so good. The acting was so good. The action felt so so realistic. Like, I mean, every punch, every, ex like, there's one explosion toward the end of this movie. Every shot, it just felt real. It didn't feel like I was watching a movie. This all, everyone just, they were on their A game. It felt like a real life event, and we're just filming it, and with the good HD quality. And I love the acting. It just felt so real. It's a very sad movie, and it's actually kind of funny. There actually are some funny parts of this movie that actually made me laugh. And it's not like throw humor at the screen. It's like realistic laughter. Like when you talk to someone and you laugh, that is funny in your opinion. This movie feels like that because it's so realistic. It feels so real because everyone's doing such a good job and everything in this movie just works together very well. And the story is very, very good. If I had to do any complaints, the movie to me, again, it feels like they really are just ripping off the page from No Country for All Men. Just a little bit, just a little bit of how how like, how like it's in the desert, how, how an old man, a sheriff, Jeff Bridges, Tommy Lee Jones from No, no Country for All Men, are going after these people like uh, Josh Brolin and the psychopath from No Country for All Men. I just feel like they're referencing it, to, referencing it too much, but I could be wrong. This movie has like 98% Rotten Tomatoes. It's a great movie. It really is. It's really well directed. It's really well acted. It felt so realistic. It made me sad at the very end. It made me like really intense. There's some very intense scenes. I love the bank robbing scenes. And they have a purpose of why they're doing it. And it's because of the land. I'm going to give this movie an A+. Hell or High Water is one of the best films of the year. I definitely recommend it. It's a smart movie. It's a great movie. I think it's Chris Pine and Ben Foster's best movie ever. They are great. Everyone was good in this movie. Go or see it. If it's in your local theater, please go see it. It is so good. I cannot wait to go see it. I can't wait to buy this on Blu-ray and watch it again. It is good. So, Hell or High Water, you're, you're going to be in my top 10, hopefully, at the end of the year. Because this year has been tough, man. Anyway, guys, you guys enjoyed this review. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.